I'm dead. I don't need any dice. I'm just so, gonna build the stool while you guys hamster and go my dead body. Out of your Actually, you know, you know what? There once was a vampire named Mabel whose periods were always quite stable. At every full moon, she'd pull out a spoon and drink herself under the table. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Saturday night, that means it's campaign night. You don't have to watch the Trump rally to see some fucked up shit. It's on right here. Uh, it is Saturday night, and it is the campaigners, so God help us all. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, it's down there. If you want to buy uh, our, if you want to chat with us on uh, Discord, it's down there. If you want a seat on the panel for the talk show or a game, hit us up uh, on Twitter. It's mhobo inc and it's mhobo inc at Gmail. So hit us up either way. Uh, we'll go ahead and recap what's been going on after we get reintroduced to the cast. If you're a first time watcher, it's for mature audiences only, as you can already tell. Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, my name's Chris. I'm playing Minis and Eric Cocker Cleric. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, I took too long making my drink. And anyways, I'm a little behind. <laughs> <laughs> We're right on time. Carol, you're up next. Well, I'm not last. Usually I'm always last. Okay, so. Hey, Kyle, go ahead and replace Carol. We're going to make her last. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Carol. Oh. Oh, me? Okay, so hi, I'm Carol. I'm playing Taryn, my wood elf bard. Uh, I have been waiting since last session to play this session. I'm so excited. It's right where I want it. We're on the edge of disaster, so... Again. With Dewey Again. dead. It's right where she wants it. <laughs> right where I want it. Best games ever. Uh, Kyle, who is currently in jail, go ahead and show us uh, who you're playing if he is alive. He's not alive. I'm Kyle. Fuck you all. <laughs> I tried to get to you. Blake. I actually took a swan dive off the cliff to go save you, so fuck everyone but yeah, me. Yeah. yeah, no. Perpetua Perpetua is the one. Yes, I, I am I'm Bay. I'm Till death to us part, right, Perpetua? <laughs> so, so we've officially parted. Good no. <laughs> Ernest, while those two are sucking each other off, who are you playing tonight? <laughs> Oh, I'm playing Lucas, the <laughs> anti hero. And uh, I'm excited to turn level eight after our rest, assuming we get that far. Did we so ever get it? Since, it? We, since oh. we've been supposed to do that for a month now. I know. This is a really oh, long. Oh, I have a wonderful idea. And that is while Dewey is dead, we transplant that orb from Blake's ass to Dewey's ass before we revive him. <laughs> a great surprise. I'm voting for tattoos of bows on his back thighs to make him look like he's wearing hosiery on his hairy little gnome legs. <laughs> uh, folks, this is the campaign. It is, I'm going to say, very long running. What skins, <laughs> what skins do I have? Uh, a lot, and they're all I'm going to have Dewey's soon. <laughs> Uh, folks, uh, these guys in the last episode met up with two, we shall we say, archangels, diviners, avatars, whatever you want to call it, uh, after oh, finding you. piece one of the artifact. Uh, it is a three-piece artifact that they need to find in order to put evil back in the box, which is currently held by Terran. Uh, Perpetua has piece number one of the artifact. Dewey, unfortunately, succumbed to significant injuries uh, last session, and Taryn fared very little better. He did actions, he did actions that were entirely his own. That's true. He, he committed seppuku, uh, he for those of you in the oh East. Uh, he could have gotten out of that, but he didn't. We find these guys down below the bluff, overlooking Yaddle and Yaddle Bay, where some kind of military force from Fulton has blockaded the harbor. Uh, these guys know absolutely jack and shit over this. Uh, all they know is piece number two is somewhere in Yaddle, uh, a major metropolitan area, probably covered in graffiti, broken statues, and burning Starbucks. Uh, we begin tonight with a hazy, reminiscent 
Dewey going through the ethers of death, uh, looking up out of a small basket on the steps of the great library of Andura. The doors open and two hooded acolytes step out and ponder the usefulness of the baby gnome. We rejoin the group as they look over Dewey's dead body and ponder what kind of tattoo they're going to add to his growing. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? Now, now, now am, I, am I incorrect in thinking that we do know where in Yaddle whereabouts this is? Yeah, we were told it's in the catacombs. In the catacombs. That's all okay. you know. Okay, the catacombs. Okay. I thought we had gotten a little more specific than that. Okay. <clears throat> so I busy I'm since I was the one that was on over Dewey and realized he was dead, I'm the one yelling, Manise! Get over here. Just toss Dewey's body over to Manise. <laughs> With a <laughs> rock. <laughs> uh so I'll make my way over. Well 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 Sauntering. No, get your freaking ass over here. Well, 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 he Lightly is skipping. Well, while he is descending, I, I am placing some of the military tattoos that I've collected from soldiers over our travels on various places on Dewey's dead body. <laughs> do you have a tattoo gun? <coughs> no, 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 but I do have a seamstress kit. Oh, are these like Wait, are these like pieces of skin with the tattoo? Yes, they're, they're pieces of skin. Yes, yes no. they're pieces of skin I played. Oh, oh yeah, no. merge the flesh and then revive him. As we all know, uh, Dewey's a big fat person. <laughs> no, he's and he's going to be hiding in somebody's basement here in a minute. I, I, he'd, he'd fuck him. He'd fuck him hard. That's right. Manise, uh, you walk over to the mangled body of Dewey. Dewey. Off in the ether, you hear the lyrics to Goodbye Horses. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> and, and you remember a time when you were reading and a spark of light flies into the library and you go off to chase it before being chastised by the senior acolytes in the Great Academy. As you float through the ether, what do you want to do with them, Manise? Uh, I cast a revivify. Uh, so he <laughs> comes back to life with one health point. Uh, Dewey, uh, as Maniz utters his arcane words to bring you back from the brink of death, uh, oh. you wake up to two individuals that you know as Samuel and Alvin. And they are discussing your future, and you reach out to try and talk to them, and you hear boop, 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 and you come back to life, blinking several times before realizing somebody is trying to seamstress tattoos onto your body, which will probably do more than one hit point of damage and kill them off again. Oh, it's the machine that goes ping. Also, also, it wouldn't come if you'd be making death saves. And oh, you know what? As soon, no, as soon as Not comes constant back, pain. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, no, as soon as he, as soon as he sits upright, I'm I'm taken aback and I stop my work. Mr. Dungeon Master, I am going as soon as he as soon as he wakes up or I realize alive. I want to cast a second level cure wounds on him. Do we? You go. <gasps> How many hit points does he get back? I'm looking. How many is that? 2d8 plus 4. I'm going to use my new dice tonight. Oh, that rolled. Hey, it rolled pretty well, too. Uh, that's 10 plus 4. So take back 14. Okay. And then, I, since we're not in rounds, but I want to do a cure that my, my last slot is going to be for me. Because I am really badly hurt. <laughs> I'm not the most of a person in the party because I now he's got more than I do. So, <clears throat> okay to just do with them. Yep. Uh, okay. Now that Dewey is shaking the birds out of his head and trying to figure out where all the bad guys went. Spoiler alert: they're dead. Uh, 
what would you guys like to do? You still see the warship headed in to investigate the flaming longboat with the dead body in it that Lucas set fire to and sent off for the Viking burial, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. making one ship from the blockade break off to investigate. Instead of, wanna... take it, instead of taking it into the city as the easy way, <clears throat> what would you guys like to do? Uh, I'm going to burn a couple of sorcery points, convert a couple others, and I'm going to grab Taryn while she's laying yeah, hands how, on how, how many sorcery points do you have left because you burnt a shitload? I have, I have three first level spells and two third level spells, so I definitely have enough for a dimension door. Okie doke. Oh, you have that many left. Okay. So, so you're grabbing me to get back up top. Fair. Well, yeah, while you're laying hands on yourself, I'm grabbing you, and we're actually going to try and vamp into the city. <clears throat> what? Abandoning us without a rest? You are not 500 feet close enough. Okay, then we'll just go back where we came from. I don't think we want to go in the city yet. I think we okay, want to no, go. No, if, we're, if we're not close enough, we're back where we came from anyway. It's not an issue. Yeah, you guys are a good half mile away. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, then no problem. So, Perpetua and Taryn are going up? Yeah. Uh, you two but are on the bluff. Maniz, Lucas, and now not dead Dewey, what would you guys like to do? Uh, I think the last time Maniz dropped me from the air, I turned into a, a giant elk, so I think I'm still in elk form. You lost you lost elk form from fall damage, I thought. No, I think no. I think oh he got hit by the bad guys enough that Yeah, you, you got the lost. shit beat out of you by the bad guys. Oh uh, okay, so I'm in my elven form. Uh no. I guess I'll just climb up this cliff face very carefully. Fair enough. Four dex checks for me, please. Uh oh, if I say carefully, can I take twice as long and get advantage on those? You, you could you could roll eight dex checks. You can roll eight dex checks, all at advantage. You can't become a bird and fly up? No, not until level eight. Not until level eight. You keep waiting to level up. <laughs> so, no, I'd rather just use four regular dex checks, I would think. Sure, okay. go ahead. <clears throat> Whatever. Uh, roll them one at a time. What's the DC? Go ahead and roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, that too. All right, so the first one was a nat 20. That, that's easily. All right, the next one was a modified 20. Yep. The well, one he's after dying that, that. Can I grab onto Maniz's knees and have oh. him climb me up? Shocker. <laughs> what was the third? 12. Okay, what's fourth? Okay, and the fourth one is a modified 19. <sighs> the 12 was uh, the close one. Ooh, all right. Uh, uh, Maniz, uh, yet again, Dewey has wrapped himself around your legs. Right, oh my gosh, thank up. you! He's only got 15 hit points. Oh, wait, it's you. I'm Never up. mind. <laughs> I'll, I'll fly him up. Ugh, oh, oh, Jesus. He's put on a lot more weight since he got the armor. <laughs> uh, all five of you find yourself looking over the bluff that overlooks the harbor, the bay, and the city of Yaddle. You can see a large gathering to where you surmise is the front gate. Uh, there's also a haze over the entire city of Yaddle that just comes from burning wood. Uh, it is not on fire. You established that the tent city was refugees, correct? Yeah, you said- you were, you It were appears to be refugees. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be the military, like the Fulton military. <laughs> From the other side too, right? Pat patchwork tents would indicate that is most yeah. likely refugees. My guess is probably from the plague, but I don't. I mean, obviously, I don't know. That's just a guess. Should we try and rest in the refugee camp, or should yes. we try and find a resting spot place in the wilderness, or in the I've... city, or in the city? <clears throat> I know it. I can pay for the city, I mean, regardless of what it costs. I can pay for the city. I mean, the only thing is that we just don't know what we're going into, and we are tapped out of. Like, I've got nothing. We, I've which of us has? Which of us has been here before? Blake, I thought you were. 
I thought, Blake, I thought you were near here. Wasn't there an army the last time you were over here? The enemy army? Uh, he was to the north. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. neither yeah, one. That, we was, that was coming from elsewhere. We oh. were both headed there, but neither one of us made it. So I don't think any of us has ever been here, from what I can gather. What Correct. direction did the, the cult members come from? Uh, they came from around the bay. Oh, so not from the city? From the city. Oh. So the city's over here. And this is the bay, and then you guys are on the bluff here. So they came from around this way. I just right. now they may not have come from the refugee tent. They That's may, they may they came also from. not have come from the city. They may have come from that direction. Yeah, you were on a bluff, so you you had the highlands. Unfortunately, <laughs> only Dewey was on the highlands when they appeared. Okay. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> try and walk into the city and get an in, but if they're being... As I said, we just painted, don't know. Maybe they won't let anyone in? I saw, I saw the sailor. I saw the sailor that we set ablaze and sent out, out, out to sea, who was a citizen of the city, I'm assuming. Okay. Correct. I just, I just said, I just because we are so tapped on resources right now, we don't have no spells to go. Well, well my, my suggestion... Go ahead. I just, I'm just afraid to go into a situation that we don't know with nothing. Or with what, nothing. what I was suggesting was I will, I will use my disguise kit well, to, to assume the persona of the sailor that was just set ablaze to investigate and see whether or not there's hostilities in town. Okay, well, I'm not hanging out here for the ship approaching to find us. So, where's our meeting? Yeah, going? yeah, I, 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 yeah. In 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 any in any case, assume that this conversation is taking on place towards the city. But you're using a disguise kit, which means somebody can see. That, that's 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 my that's my quote unquote euphemism. Yeah, <laughs> Dewey, who is completely out of it. Perpetual, why would you use a disguise kit? You're a changeling. You could just yeah, that's change. that's that's my euphemism for oh well, for yeah, my, still, my abilities. Okay. But still, if you go in there and you get in trouble, how are you gonna you how are you gonna deal with it with so little? You're probably gonna dimension door out. I do have I like I said I had two, I also had two third level spells, so that's another dimension door. I mean that that I mean that will only get you so far, but. I mean, you know what? what it, it, it's, it, it's, it, I'm leaving it up to you guys. I'm offering. I just. I, re I really don't care. I just want to get rest. I don't think we should do it in the city without scouting. I, that's, <laughs> I, I think we can scout in the morning. Yeah. I, okay. I do it right okay. now. There. Let's just go and land a couple miles or whatever. I still quarter, turn quarter of a mile outside of town. I that's, still turn into the sailor. Are there trees at all? There's a small copse of trees down uh, in the lowland. That's what I'm thinking. Right. I don't know the area, so. I, I agree with Carol. Okay, yeah. is that where you're going to make camp? Yes. Is that uh, the only copse of trees in the middle of this city? Yeah, like. So that actually, if there were any, you know, like raiders or bandits who didn't want to stay in the refugee city, <laughs> this is definitely <laughs> where, where they would stay. Totally, absolutely. One. That would probably be where highwaymen would live. Yes. Yeah. He was like, that seems like a bad idea. I don't know why, though. Okay, let's go, guys. <laughs> don't give God ideas. <laughs> oh, tr trust me, if you didn't think I hadn't thought of this part already, you, you have not been playing long enough. So, you want to go to the cops of trees? Oh, God damn you. Now I'm paranoid. <clears throat> Maybe it's, somebody... I, would, I, I think it's safest in the refugee camp, honestly, but I'll follow your advice. Oh, unless we're all Jesus sick. Christ. Unless they're sick or and there's no one ever. <laughs> I don't like it either. I just if they're what sick. If you just go to fucking Tulsa and scream out, "I can't breathe!" Uh, you'd be just as safe. Oh, 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 oh! No, it's Gay Pride Month. Let's leave all that shit off the off the table. <laughs> God, all right. I don't at this point. You point out a great thing, do we? All right, what do we want to do? And I, I want to be I, like I said. I think it's safest the, amongst the refugees. I definitely, we're definitely walking inland and getting away from that fucking ship. 
while we're having this discussion, yes. Oh, yes. And I mean, every once in a while, I just keep looking back at it. Okay, like, let's hang out with the refugees. Uh, we all <coughs> need to rest at once. I'll take watch while... On the, outs on the outskirts of the refugees. On the outskirts of the refugees. I'd say that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So you're going to go to the outskirts of the refugee tent city and just try and hang out there and blend in. Sure. That works. Yeah. That's what you want to do? Yeah. I feel like I look like a refugee right now. <laughs> I do too. We both in, look in like raccoon eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both look like a terrible flip. I, well, I can cast prestidigitation myself to take off some of the blood that I'm sure is all over my clothes, uh, having taken what four friggin' uh, great sword shots. I think Dewey looks a lot like Val Kilmer in Tombstone there near the end when he's a lunger. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? You know what? I think Lady Torgal is going to join the refugee camp. Oh, yes. I don't know her, actually. That was when I was not, uh, that was in between when I met <sighs> you, or I re-met you, so. Perpetua I mean... changes from the sailor into Lady Torgal. Are you, have you doctored the dress or are you still wearing a human sized dress I'm still as I have? Her skin. I'm still, I, I still have her skin. Wow. Uh, as you, you, as you approach Tent City, is what we'll call it, uh, there's a smell. Oh, God, I'll bet. It is a nasty smell. It is also very loud, uh, very disorienting. Uh, people are moving to and fro. There are small children. Uh, I will take perception checks by everybody, please. I was wondering if I Enter hear... the outskirts. Uh, not a good start roll for this guy. That's... I was wondering if I heard any coughing. Um, Seven, eight... 17. <clears throat> Yay. 15. 26. Jesus. Nope. Go, Taryn. You first. Yeah. No, no, either. That was an eight. Oh. Yeah, I only rolled a five. I don't have a great perception. <laughs> uh, Dewey and Taryn don't see shit. Uh, smell. It's Maniz and Perpetua uh, can hear coughing and hacking. Oh, Lucas shit. can hear coughing, hacking, wheezing, and see. Five children with the pox. Uh, <laughs> as, as we approach, I will grab Yay. Lucas and Dimension Door into the city. Uh, I, I guess so I have no choice? You can, Apparently you, can, you, can you do not. You can resist. You can resist. I'm well, going why either are, way. Why are we splitting the party? Yeah. That's why are we once again splitting the party? That's how people freaking die. I, uh, I, I, I guess I, I already said it, so I, I, I guess I'm the going pox. into the city. But I'm, I'm, I'm not wanting to be around the pox. Well, none of us oh. do. Oh, we'll it's not the first so I'm fine. I thought it's I was the only one who saw the pox. We're just going to have to move further back. We're not going to sit in the refuge. See, I was right. How about that? I knew it was fucking, I knew it was freaking plague victims. Uh, we don't Perpetua to... disappears. Do, Lucas, do you go? I yes, I don't resist because okay. Perpetua is my colleague, and I trust the <laughs> colleague for some reason. Well, Dewey, still feeling the effects of death with his role of a one, doesn't notice shit, and he's just stumbling forward. Taryn, uh, uh, you... uh, zombie. <laughs> <laughs> you, Taryn, you don't hear shit either because you are. Right. Too concerned about Dewey. Manise, no, no, I, you I notice that Lucas and Perpetua are gone, and Taryn and Dewey are stumbling into fucking Plague Central. So, Eric Cockra, you have to be the voice of reason or not. Or, option three, I just leave. <laughs> well, yeah, is it, I'm not. Is it your fuck this. In a different city? Honestly, I probably already got the freaking disease. Is it Seal that has the flyaway song? Yes. Yes. No. Be like Seal, uh, because Christopher Croft away. has "Come Sail Away." Um. For all no, you I, I will. I will tell Taryn and Dewey that 
it looks like it's yeah exactly <laughs> like try to call it Dewey goes no. to reach out and grabs Taryn's leg instead and, and I will correct you child no no sticks has come sail away was it okay no I even know that one uh, I'm not a music guy I don't give a shit uh okay so yeah I no know. shit they fucking split up again not I don't think, <laughs> I think it was most of our ideas Bring it on, boys and, and girls. <laughs> and, and I don't, I don't know what happened to Blake or Blake. Not a clue. Yeah. Now, uh, perpetual dimension door is a third level, right? Four. So, do you have another dimension door like, to get like, out? Like I, like I said, I had enough. I had three first level and two third level, which is enough for. Uh, uh, 12 sorcery points or I'm sorry that's not uh, that's 20 sorcery points which is enough for two first levels or two fourth levels so I so I have I have I, I've burned my two fourth levels and I still have two sorcery points left over meaning I still have one first level spell and that's you do, okay fair enough <laughs> uh, odd even Odd, we're going with the Manise group. Manise, Taryn, and Dewey, what do you want to do? Not go in the fucking city, that's for sure. Taryn, yeah. D12 yeah. against me. I said, I'm probably already got the freaking disease anyways. I, which one's my D12? That is caught. That is no, that's a five. I didn't see what you what you held up. Nine. Actually, no, I take that back. That's enough for two, two first level spells. Yeah, yeah. that's a five. All right, you, you beat me, so. Uh, the kids uh, with the pox that are playing tag, Manise, they're headed right for Dewey and Taryn. I traveled around with somebody with this freaking disease for like three months, so I mean. You followed somebody around with the plague and not the oh, pox. Oh, this is different. Okay, what's the pox? You also don't know when she contracted it. If I did, oh yeah, when if she, yeah, I don't know. I will use thaumaturgy to make the kids stop and leave, not come to leave. It's like telling to stop. Uh, Silence, brand. What do I need to roll? Well, uh, if I'm just telling him to stop, my voice booms up to three times as loud. It, it, it would be, it would be intimidation. Your, it, so intimidation. go ahead and yeah. roll with the what's, advantage what's your, for me. What's your smell spell modifier? <laughs> Modifier is, I think, plus two. Uh, roll the 13. <laughs> one? Roll one no, I did not. I rolled uh, a 20. 14. <laughs> well, that was 13. Do I get spell modifier or not? Yeah, you can take spell. It, was okay, that well, with advantage? That's... Did you roll an advantage? With advantage, so it would be a 15 with the modifier. I did not add the modifier. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the kids stop at your uh, verbose opinion and begin to scream. You see a fat lady uh, coddle the children, and they explain to, the, to her that the mean bird person just yelled at them. You're going to have to deal with the mama. And she's got a rolling pin. Oh, I got um, ways to deal with her. I'll step flick to wounds. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll step oh, man. Deal with her. Is she coming at me? Is she just staying there? What? Where, D12, where, where, D12 where is, against me, Manis. Where is Andy Cap? Is that even a D12? No, it's not a D12. Where the hell is me? Oh, there it is. Uh, that's an eight. Uh, Ty goes to the runner. Uh, she looks at you, gives you a menacing glare. I make a tremor happen right where they are. How? By, by giving her the stink eye. She hustles the pox-filled children into a multicolored tent of patched work fabric. Uh, Dewey... Roll d12 against me, please. Rolling a d12, time for death. 12. 
Do yes. you manage to maintain your balance and just kind of sway lightly in the breeze? You do not approach anybody. Venise, uh, you can tell them that you hear coughing and hacking, uh, maybe even some spitting, uh, but it is clear in, in that the, uh, the refugee camp is not the best of health. No, we shouldn't, shouldn't go there. No. We we'll probably have to go find to a different way. of trees. Well, I'll find a different way in at least. Or the, or the inn. We or don't the know inn. if the city that's in is uh, also filled with pox people. Karen, uh, a jauntily, Perpetua and Lucas. <laughs> a jauntily <laughs> dressed individual carrying a liar approaches you and he's strumming, but it's way off key. Oh, God. Um, do you come from the refugee village? I'm here to sing the tales of your bravery. Uh, I'm going to make sure we stay a good distance away from him and pretend to appreciate the music. He, he's, he's not playing music. He's just kind of thumbing, oh, the, thumbing the strings at this point in time. Um, I, he's headed right for you. And he's come from the refugee thing. Mm -hmm. He's said, wandering through. Let's move back. I tell the others, and I want to start moving away from this uh, refugee camp. Do we D20? D20. I will Eight. grab three if I have to, by the way. I know uh, just... No, it's enough. His uh, zombie-esque appearance is wandering backwards towards you, kind of following you like a retarded puppy. Uh, no, as you go... I... Actually, a retarded no. puppy who had his <laughs> neck twisted off and no, <laughs> was but... brought back to life. Wait, wait. He's not that bad. Remember, I did heal him. He actually has more hit points than I do right now. <laughs> not, yeah, not the puppy. He... Not he's much, he's but... dead though, so he's still a little bit. No, I'm, I'm gonna no. I want to take a hold of him. I'm gonna take a hold of him anyways and just help usher him up because I know he's got to be really hurting. I'm bad away at her. No, Samuel, I don't want to go to the academy. You can't make me. Resurrection. <laughs> Wait till Alvin gets you. Dewey, Alvin. Dewey, it's me. Come <laughs> on. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I did that. Theodore! Do we uh, D12 <laughs> against me, please? God, please. <laughs> Is that a uh, three that time. Oh. Alvin? Alvin Jonathan? Knackle? Says the bard. Uh, the bard is now focused in on Dewey and begins to walk over Slings his liar over his shoulder. Did you say Alvin Knackle? I want to make sure we keep six feet in between him and us. Stop. Stay six feet away. Thank you very much. I need somebody with the human touch. And I'll uh, put right now. <laughs> oh, you're bandits. <laughs> uh, Maniz, Dewey, and Taryn. What do you want to do? Stay six feet away, and if you want, I mean, we can. You can talk. Stay at least six a feet away. away. He, he has a query out hanging there. Yeah. You, you, you know where Alvin is? Yes, I do. Keep Samuel away from me. Who's Alvin? Yeah. You know who Alvin is. No. I don't know who your associates are. No. The individual now, wait for Dewey to I speak. I wrote that story, and I do not have it actually pulled up. <laughs> the bard clears his throat. <coughs> Alvin <coughs> Knackle uh, was an esteemed aesthetic in this city. Oh, an aesthetic. What's an aesthetic? An aesthetic uh, is someone who lives, lives on, min on minimal terms, usually a holy person. Yeah, like a monk. Oh. I did not know you were familiar with them. Not, not to be confused with what Frank said, which is an aesthetic, which is a visual. <laughs> a, a visual uh, uh, I thought it was like an esthetician, you know, maybe he did hair and makeup or something. Yes, he's a cosmetologist. He went to beauty school. <laughs> 
So do you say anything to him or do you want us to just keep going? Uh, do you want to talk to, I'll look down. Do you want to talk to me or do you just want us to keep going? <laughs> We're going to stay, stay far enough back so he's not coughing on us. <coughs> do you have anything you want to ask him? Is Alvin still here? Yeah. I will, uh, while I notice him coughing, I will cast resistant, <laughs> uh, which is a cantrip. So I guess I can only do it one at a time. I will start with myself. That's fair. It's concentration too, isn't it? Oh shit! Yeah, you're right. Oh well, it's on me. Fuck y'all. <laughs> it, 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 it is what it is. That's what you can do. Yeah. Inside the city walls, the dimension door opens up, and Lucas and Perpetua find themselves in a very stinky part of town that smells much like a tannery. Uh, you are just beyond the wall. As a matter of fact, if you reach back and touch, you can touch the wall. You are on a busy I, 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 say, I, 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 alleyway. I touched the wall. Uh, yo, Perpetua, I think we should uh, find men and rest. Yes, I think we should find men and rest, too. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of seedy-looking fuckers down here that are rather surprised at your sudden appearance. Two of them look like they should be chimney sweeps. They're covered in soot. So I they're either chimney that. sweeps or blacksmiths. I, 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 I shift my appearance into that of Mary Poppins and calm the chimney sweeps. You're going to change your appearance right in front of them. Chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chim. No. Initiative. No, 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 I'm, I'm not. Frank, Frank, I'm it's not. a joke. He's making a pop culture reference. Come on. Come on. Uh, he'd do it. Uh, what would you guys like to do about these two CD fuckers? Uh, ignore them. How, how exactly intimidating, aggressive do they look? Uh, they look like highwaymen. Do they, do they more look startled? No, they're just kind of confused as to where how you appeared in front of them. You could automatically tell that you were in the craftsman district, yeah, gotcha. the hardcore craftsman gotcha. area. So I'm going to I'm going to immediately turn to Lucas and say, "Good Lord, that was one hell of a oh! Do you remember that? How much booze did we drink?" I just started showing up here, showing up there. I was so shit faced. How blacked out were you? What? Yeah, I know exactly. Perception check, both of you. All right. 18. Uh, 21. You both noticed that they have associates on the other side of you. Uh, so is, 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 there, is there a, a an evacuation bro? There, you are in a T intersection. Okay, so there's one direction where there are, they don't have a coach. So we can we can back out. Well, if you back out, you're at the wall. If you go forward, you'll cut in between the tanner shop and the blacksmith and avoid both groups. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that 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 seems to be what's most desirable. Yeah. Uh, hoof it or walking. Uh, dashing. Yeah. Hoof it. Okay. Uh, give me DC 12 dex, please. 17. Uh, that is a 19 plus 4, 23. <clears throat> you guys are bobbing and weaving through a rather significant amount of traffic. These people all look like standard citizens slash peasants slash craftsmen. Uh, individuals going about their business. Uh, you see some uh, candle dealers taking their goods back and forth. You see woodsmen uh, with logs for fires uh, moving do, do, back do and we, forth. Do we see any butchers or bakers? No. You see uh, fowl uh, being herded around, the geese. Uh, there are a lot of different individuals floating through city. It's rather packed, uh, as you can well imagine. Uh, considering the size outside, the city itself in this area 
does not appear as though it would be able to sustain life if Tent City came in. You mean visitors? Future citizens. I, also, and, there is a naval blockade. You don't right. know how that's going to And I'm not particularly concerned about that. I'm more, I'm, I'm more trying to ultimately head towards the town plaza. Fair enough. Uh, where is that? I'm assuming the opposite of the direction that I came, looking towards. So, so, so I dimension door 500 feet this this away. I I would say that it would at least take an intelligence check to know from which direction the naval blockade would be, and that I would want to be headed that direction from where I came in. Fair enough. Uh, as you guys bob and weave through, give me perception checks to see if there's anybody following you. Ooh, that was not too high. Twelve. Uh, both of you notice three of the five are still following you uh, in a hurried fashion. They are not dashing like you are, so you are out distancing them. Uh, as you turn around, you plunge headlong into a man wearing the coat of arms of the city. Uh, he I, and his. I, I wasn't looking. Only one of us should have to be looking behind us. Okay. You're going to run right into the captain of the guards. What? So we're going to like cross his path or are we literally running into him? I was going to say, I, I, we should have the opportunity to. You aren't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because he's here and his men are here. So they're taking up pretty much the whole. How story. much gold is it going to take to avoid this encounter? I have 1,800. Whoa. Careful, citizens. We don't want to have an accident. I agree entirely. I can't breathe. <laughs> why, why can't you my, breathe? My, my apologies, your liege. No, no worries, citizen. You're fine. Uh, so, maybe uh, ask uh, where, where an inn may be? Uh, no, 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 no. We, we are very familiar with this area. We are citizens. I'm forgetful, though. Where may it be? Uh, he'll turn to Perpetua and ask, is he okay? No worries. No worries, my friend. I apologize. He suffered a small head wound. You got he's magic the, legs. The same as Harold. Nice. Uh, carry on, citizens. Yes. And, and, and again, our sincerest apologies. It happens all the time. He moves forward. Uh, each of the two flankers move away so that you can step through the line. We do, and then I would basically like to give pause <laughs> and then follow him. The guard? From a distance. So you're gonna turn back around. Uh, oh, I, I thought you were, I thought you, the way you described it, we were at a T-junction. Yeah, and you went down the T. Oh, and no, then no, you no, ran no, headlong no, into no, them. I, I thought we were coming up to an intersection and he was no. T-boning us. No. Oh, okay. Okay, that. no, no, no. Then, oh, then no, I continue along. Are you looking for the plaza or an inn? I want to rest. I, 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 I'm, I'm ultimately looking for an inn, but I would prefer one not in the crowded, shitty part of town. Um, so that, that's, that's why I'm headed towards the plaza, because I'm assuming I can get a better evaluation of the districts from the plaza. Okay. Uh, as you continue down the road, you will see several taverns, uh, various businesses, coopers, uh, furriers, uh, weavers, uh, all your basic standard stores. Yeah, your, your, your butchers, your bakers. We yeah, the you'll see of, an inn uh, of decent... You'll see an inn of high quality, uh, and then you'll see an inn of medium quality. The city itself is quite packed, and all of the structures are made of wood with mostly uh, orange am, am shingles, able, but sometimes thatched roofs. Am I able to determine the high quality one as I pass it? Oh, yeah. It's clearly obvious. Oh, there's no there broken there. windows. There's no broken tiles. Uh, the clientele even has a doorman. Oh, then yes, I absolutely... This this is perfectly fine. You think? <laughs> <laughs> Did you set that up on purpose, Frank? 
What? <laughs> no, I would never have thought of that. <laughs> come on. I'm like, come on. It's on me. So, uh, you can come walk on, in come and on, you can tell that uh, everything is... I mean, it, it, it's kind of a nice place. It, it kind of looks like you've entered the Merchants Guild. Okay. Not, not the Merchants Guild, but the Merchants Area. So oh, hence three different qualities of in for your lower, your middle, and your upper class merchants. Uh, I, this I, I is definitely again, upper. Since we had to go through that line of guards, did that stop the followers from... Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're not being followed as far as I can tell, right? Not by those three. Uh, go ahead and roll for investigation if you want to look around. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, that was good. That was a 19 plus uh, three, so 22. You see no one following you. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, do you go inside the high quality inn? Yes. Professor. I'm, I'm already in while he's investigating. Okay. It's the Regent Arms. Uh, and it is, like I said, uh, it's got some high quality furniture in there. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, the employees all wear a nice red vest, so you can kind of tell who's well, there well, and who's well, not. Welcome to Hyatt, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, Professor, uh, what, form, what form are you in right now? Are you in the little girl form? I'm, I'm, I'm Lady Torgal. He's Lady Torgal. Oh, got it. Uh, so there's a, a clerk at the main table. Uh, hello, can I help you? Yes, uh, good evening. I, I apologize for our late arrival. Uh, you mean the honeymoon suite? Yes, yes, my husband is correct. We are looking for a honeymoon suite. Yes. I give, I give uh, Lady Torgo a little butt grab. I, 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 I giggle co coquettishly. Uh, well, we, we do have a room available that I suppose would fit that. Uh, it is rather expensive. She looks over Lucas. Uh, He's a gold digger. I, it matters not though, because we are so deeply in love. Except you're wearing human clothes in a halfling body. <laughs> uh, it's 25 gold per night. I slap it in her palm, plus a five gold tip. Uh, she gives you the key to room number six and tells you to go upstairs. It is at the far left end of the hallway. Continental breakfast? I'm not sure who Mr. Continental is. I slap another five gold, say, make sure that we have breakfast. Sure. <laughs> uh, back to Manise, Taryn, and Dewey. Uh, what you want to do with the bard? Yay, we're level eight. <laughs> we haven't rested yet. We're still not in the room. Nope, not level eight. Um, well, actually, Dewey, the bard... Is Dewey uh, regains a bit of his senses, and he goes and he grabs the bard, pox and all, I don't, assume. Don't! don't the, the bard has a cough, not the pox. Only okay. the children had the pox. Don't get near him. Don't get near him. Don't get Too late. Oh, oh, you I am to, near you him. You want to be in with the children, not the bard. Where's Nickel? Uh, duh. The Crips. Where's the Crips? Duh. Inside the city. Where? Outside of the city. city. Under it. If he takes a little, if he says duh one more time, I'm going to right in the nuts. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, and, go ahead and hit him. Uh, not everybody you meet is going to be first level here. <laughs> roll, roll, roll for nut tap. <laughs> uh, 15 on the die plus stuff to hit him. 17 is his AC. Uh, uh, what are you doing? I don't swing that way, dude. After I right in the nuts, hey. eh? Hey, in terms he has of, not, like, everyone loves a hand job when there's diseases about. He only has one ball. He's Hitler. It, I missed. Dewey. And Dewey. He, kind of, he, he puts two fingers in your chest and pushes you off, and you notice that this dude's kind of strong. <laughs> Dewey. Uh, friend, you need to back away. Where, where are the Crips? Where are the Crips? 
Dewey, back away. Uh, what is the problem with your friend? He asks Maniz and Taryn. Um, We're the fucking fucking crips. I don't know his. I don't know what relationship he has with this person, but I'm guessing it's not an amicable one. Is that uh, just... in, in, insight? Insight. It's time to leave the bard behind if he doesn't tell me where those crips are. Uh. I'll find the bloods. We'll, we'll find those crips. There are better ways to deal with the insight. Uh, that is a twenty-two. Uh. If this knackle guy's in the crypts, he's probably fucking dead. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I mean, well, I kind of, but I'm trying to figure out, he asked me what Dewey wanted, I think was the question, and I'm trying to put in that framework. Yeah, what's Dewey's problem is pretty much what he's getting at. Yeah. I mean, Dewey, we're going, Dewey, we're going to take care of that anyways. But where are, come on, good sir, where are the crypts? There, there's, are, only, there's only one answer to that. It's Pardon my friend. Yeah. They're, 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 they're common pole. <coughs> you know. they, they are in the city underneath the shrine of Icus. Thank you. Is that's the as, correct answer. That's as helpful. And I have a Who question. is Icus? He's going to ignore Dewey. Oh, no, no. On. This is me asking the DM. Yeah, oh, yeah, is Icus a god or. Religion check. Okay. Uh, that I is going to be a 17. Uh, you know that it is a regional god. Uh, you don't know a great deal about her. Uh, it was just lightly touched on at the Grand Academy. Your instructor did a piss poor job. He's probably somebody you know. <laughs> was it a Rover Steed? No, no, it was not. That would be stupid. There's no crossover <laughs> here. Uh, but yes, it, it would be a low level deity. Uh, no, certainly no one of major importance, but uh, at least important enough to have a shrine in the city. I do have a question for him that is, so how long have you been here? Uh, I am 42 years old. No, I meant in the city. I mean, well, you are outside of the city, but how long? So you've been here right along. I guess it's a I have traveled the width and breadth of this land. That is fantastic. So have I in the last six months. <laughs> um, six whole months? <laughs> well, I was a performer at home. I, I was a performer at home. I really did not, I'm young too. Um, my, my question is, do you know what the deal is why Fulton is here? Yes, they're blockading the harbor. Do you know why they're blockading the harbor? Yes, there's uh, uh, Yaddle is the home to a great many merchant ships, and they kept uh, ferrying people back and forth to Fulton. And Fulton has had enough of the immigrant situation, and they have closed the city's borders. Uh, Yaddle refused to go ahead and follow their request. Therefore, the Fulton Navy is outside making sure that none of their ships head out at all. It is pretty much stifled trade in this city. Uh, and I understand, because I cannot get into the city, that there is a food shortage and they may be eating people. Oh, lovely. Um, shoot, what was I going to just ask? Oh, um, you are, so you have not been, how long has it been since you've been in the city? Ooh, I haven't been in the city in three or four months. Oh, that is unfortunate, because I was going to ask you if the plague was sweeping through the city as well. And I'm wondering if that was one of the reasons why they're they're blocking the harbor. I came from Fort Notori uh, most recently, and uh, I know that everybody in the Southlands has the plague. Uh, I, however, have an iron constitution, so I have... <laughs> oh, I, I'm fine. You're not and fine. Can you bribe your Allergies. way past the guards? I can you bribe your way past the guards? Yeah. How do we get in the city? Yeah. You don't. City gates are locked. There's no are checkpoints there... to get in or out? There is an individual I have heard, though. Oh? I don't know how reliable they are. Uh, but somebody <laughs> somebody in the town, uh, in the tent city, is named Sonori, and 
I understand that they may or may not have a way in. But that is only rumor and conjecture. I cannot confirm nor deny it. And it's just in a rather risky area to find this person. We Tent may be city? Yeah. Oh, how how um Oh, how... excuse me. Excuse me. A young lady has caught my eye. Wait, 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 wait. I will be back later. And he starts to walk off and he's strumming his lyre again. God damn it, I just have one more freaking question for you. I attempt to shake a bag of gold in his direction. Hello, my lady. Hello. Hello, my lady. Hello. Not going to stand here. Fuck that. All I wanted to know was how many guards were, if it was well guarded. So maybe we could. Oh, you can see the guards along the parapets. Oh, okay. So, how well, though? So, is there like any spots that I noticed where maybe, I mean, there's only three of us. Maybe minis could fly us in. Maybe one wait at a time. And then have you the noticed? <laughs> Uh, not in daylight, that's for sure. No, but I'm wondering, well, he's, I mean, he's a, I assume you are a black-colored bird? Whoa! 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 whoa, whoa hey, Holy hey. shit! Jesus, take whoa. your clan hood Manise, off. can you breathe right now? Are you okay, Manise? <laughs> Take a deep <laughs> breath, Manise. Taryn, why don't you get off his neck? God! I think it's a fair question. It means he's not easy to be spotted at night. Wow. Uh, Manise, what's wow. your color? <laughs> what's your color? <laughs> hey, Carol, 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 are there any people that you can't red. see in front of the chalkboard? Red board? feathers. Gray feathers? Brown and gray red. feathers? No, no, red. Oh, red, red and gray feathers. Eh. Uh, I don't know, Taryn. It's, uh... That still work. That Meanwhile, <laughs> there's... A refugee throws some litter on the ground, and you see my knees start to shed a single tear. <laughs> <laughs> <That is red feathers>. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that guy's dead. You're making fun of a dead guy. <laughs> God, don't freaking do <laughs> time with, with the lady. <laughs> you know what? That was a good one, especially for your age. That was a good one. Uh. <laughs> I just get that joke, but, but uh, I back away from this and maybe camp out until evening, and then I guess we could go in. There's, I'm a, co not there's a copse of trees, if you want. <laughs> no! Who <laughs> put in my idea? I'm so fucking living lots. <laughs> Paranoia runs strong in this group. After talking with the bard whose name you did not get, uh, the kids have already forgotten uh, the problem with the mean and evil Medes, and they are yet again playing tag. Well, I don't, I think we should, I want to back away from the city. Okay. Just How successful is the bard right now? Like, is he heading into a tent or is he getting slapped in the face? Ooh, that's a nat 20, and her charisma is a 19. He is sliding into home right about now. Oh, you are not, if you bother him, he will fucking murder you. <laughs> He's not Burn going the to... tent down. <laughs> Burn the fucking tent down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm like I'm the tent on fire will run for cover in the forest. I'm just wait, wait, wait until they're mid midwest. It just run out butt naked. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God. what a shit show. I okay. know. Tear the roof off, we're going to tear the roof off. And let the or or Maniz, just fly over the tent, grab onto the tent, and then fly away with the tent. Uh, that will not dissuade him from finishing up. <laughs> he is Hold a on, showman. Hold on, trying to see what I have. Has no, sh has no shame. I thought I had a fire spell, I don't. Oh, no, no. Clerics won't have fire spells. So, Taryn, you are backing away. I assume you're taking Dewey and Manise. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go sit down, have a rest, and maybe we can get in the Get seat. inside. Let's find I the Sonari lady. Tree. The what? Let's find the Sonari lady. I don't want to. Just wanna... get inside right now. It'll no, be... we don't need to get inside right now, and I'm not going to. We need to, to get in right now. No. Not with your... You are barely alive. 
We need to rest. Yeah, we need some rest, man. I mean, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go sleep in this tree here. I, nothing <laughs> I can do <laughs> except for mock people. That's all I can do now at this point. I've got my cantrips. That's it. I've got no healing spells, no offensive spells, no buffs, no nothing. And I've, I've, I've got no points. I've got no health either. I'm very, very freaking weak right now. I'm slightly better than I was when we're on the beach, but so, not so you're saying I should bring more cultists of sensuality. No! Right <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Denise is it. in a tree. Taryn, Dewey, uh, one of you has to give, or you're going to split the party again. Dewey no, pouts and huffs into the cops of trees. No, we'll, no, we'll all stick together. <laughs> we'll stick together. I'm going to be friggin' mad, though, if there really is a bunch of bandits in this cops of trees. So, Manise, are you going into the cops of trees with them? Is that the tree that you're picking? Yeah, yeah, yeah There's exactly. some solitary trees, but... Yeah, no, I mean, if like, there's a solitary you know, tree, maybe we should pick a solitary tree. I mean... It's up to you guys. Rest again. I just want to basically wait until dark until our chances are better. It's, well, it's, it's, it's dark. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, it's still okay. day. Oh, well, then I have shopping to do. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I would at some point... There, yeah, you go. Obviously, you're gonna go back to them, but at some point after, I want to talk to these guys. I have some info I want to get from them. So, do you do you want the cops of trees where you will at least be hidden, or do you want to sit underneath the tree like Johnny Appleseed along the stretch of road? You guys um, have been paranoid now. I'll I would do say what... probably a little bit more on the hidden side, just so we don't get harassed by any of the uh, infected folk. Yeah, okay. what's the weather like? Is it kind of toasty at night, or is it going to get cold enough where you need a fire? Uh, you'll probably need a fire at night, because you got that cool ocean breeze coming in, mm. along with the stank from the city. And, and, the, and the sailors blockading it. You mean the <sighs> semen in the bay? All that backed up semen in the bay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the backed up semen. <laughs> so, off the beaten path, away from everybody, not in the cops of trees where certainly Robin Hood and his band of merry men are at. Well, if it's Robin Hood, we should be. Yeah, if it's guys, Robin Hood. Right? No, 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 no. It, it, it's it's, it's to Robin Hood and Friar Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> no mishrape. No oh, mishrape. <laughs> So it's about mid-afternoon now, so right around 4 o'clock. So let's switch over to Perpetua and Lucas. Uh, inside the city, you have obtained a room, because it's the honeymoon suite. <laughs> yeah. One, one bed. Uh, uh, the lodging is acceptable. It is not present-day honeymoon one suite. One key. You guys are married. No, wait. I, I stay in the room. <laughs> Why would wait? Let's no. Go shopping and I'll I'll wait here. Go, go ahead, Carol. I said, no, no, you would get two keys. I mean, God, I've stayed at plenty of hotels with we, my husband. We have we have we have, we have I have to, I have to go see the in-laws off. Yeah. Keys are expensive. Okay, how maybe. Much, how how ex how expensive, <laughs> sire? They'd have to make one. Yeah, how much? No, you aren't getting one. You've got one key. I have 1,800 gold. How much for goddamn fucking key? 1,800 gold. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will attempt to make a copy myself because I have a key cutting machine at the bottom of my basement. Oh, very good. It's ruined currently from the last encounter. Uh, one okay. key, what do you want to do? Uh, you say it's 4 o'clock? Yep. You guys are getting hungry. Hungry. Yeah, no, precisely. So I'm thinking about eating Lucas because apparently that's what people in town do. And what a terrible thought. Is this where but, Mr. Rogers comes from? Yeah, yeah. But, 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 because I don't, but because I'm still a hero and I don't actually want to do that, I'm willing to venture outside to go try and... Lucas, you're getting hungry as well. Are you going with her? Secure sustenance. Make sure. Uh, there nobody no, I actually eat just want to eat my rations and then rest for the next four hours. 
Fair enough. Perpetua, you are on your own. You are indeed in the merchant quarters. Uh, it's still very busy, and you can tell that the taverns and other eateries in this area are filling up rapidly. Where is there a Lorada cart? Uh, I don't know if they're not in this area. There would not be a Lorata cart. Okay. Uh, but but I folks at home. There are now three groups again. Three. Oh, they. Yes. But 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 from oh. during my ja jaunty trip, I'm <laughs> able to ascertain what is an eatery. Yes. You would see a bistro-like uh, establishment with, with, with just the, across within, the corner from the hotel. Yeah, within the Merchant Guild, there's what seems to be an upscale dining establishment. Uh, D12 against me. We'll see how upscale it is. Okay. Eight. Uh, that is a nine. Uh, no, just average then. I but it looks okay. Okay. But uh, yeah. Yeah, by one. Okay. Uh, but but yeah, but this is where the it fancy ain't a, it ain't a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is where the is fancy what? this is where the fancy hotel is. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. also where the medium hotel is and the poor hotel is. Oh well, then fuck now this. you can venture I forth and try and find a better place. And go for where there's six fancy hotels. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Uh, no, no, I, I will, I'll go into the eatery, try and, try and secure uh, uh, some sort of a meal. What, what's, um, on, what's on the menu, boys? Uh, chicken. How many, how many question marks or quotes are around chicken when I read the chalkboard? I don't know, let's ask for these. <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> And the waitress will immediately warn you, the portions aren't what we normally give out. Uh, we're under a lot of economic stress right now. And, 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 I, and, I, and I, will, I will preface this before I left. Uh, I, I, I'm perpetual again. Okay. So I, I'm no longer ill-fitting, Ill uh, weird, weird looking. <clears throat> gotcha. Uh, hoping to gain some sympathy as just the poor kid. Somehow wearing, uh -huh. some, somehow wearing a silk dress, but okay. Uh, that's fine. I will, I'll go in. I'll, I'll, Hooker. Dine. <laughs> I'll, I'll dine there if they offer it. Oh yeah, it, there's a seat. Okay, yeah, it's not, it's not takeout only curbside delivery. No. Okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll dine there's, there. There's uh, several tables. There's a bar there. Um, Three glasses of they, your They've got table. seats. Okay. Uh, there's going to be some price gouging here because the like, honeymoon again, suite would I, normally in cost I have, In case I haven't explained this well enough, I don't really give a shit about price gouging. That's fair. Uh, do you want the meal as well? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I'm. The whole reason I'm here is because I'm hungry. Eight gold. Oh, fuck yeah. Give me a perception check. Uh, 16. Uh, you overhear some people talking about uh, the blockade. You hear overhear some people talking about Tent City and those filthy refugees. Uh, you also hear somebody else talk about the plague has already entered the city, but these people are too stupid enough and won't wear their masks. Uh, <laughs> does the bartender give me any trouble trying to order ale as Perpetua? Not with gold. Okay. Uh, does the bartender seem to eye me apprehensively? Mm -mm. Okay. Remember, it's the busy period of time, and you were able to walk in and find a seat. So give me an insight check. 21. There's going to be some economic stress here. Well, and I assumed that from the price gouging. Mm -hmm. But if you got money to spend, you're going to be considered an excellent customer. Or an easy mark. Both. 
but currently nobody seems to be giving two shits about you. I was going to say the a the ale is ale. It's not water, water and ever water and rubbing alcohol. It's not. It's not the best ale you've ever had, but it's an ale. Yeah, it, it serves its purpose. It's 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 passable. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. it just I guess. Does anything untoward to untoward seem to be going on? Well, with a twenty-one insight, everything seems people, to be on the people, up and up. Yeah, people just seem to be remaining there, there, there are a lot of empty seats here they're sheltering in place nah, there's some people here but you would expect in a busy city like this in a merchant guild that this place should be packed at this time your insight would be high enough to know that then i would like to try i, I would like to wrong. attempt to engage the bar bitch uh uh proprietor, wench, whatever, the, the, the beer monger in, in conversation regarding the, his lack of customers. She, uh, what can I do for you, love? You know, can't help but notice, seems like uh, last time I was here, you seemed to have an awful lot more people. Uh, how are things going for you? You, you? you having any trouble? Well, you saw the portion of food. Uh, we're all having trouble in the city. I mean, the blockade isn't helping anybody and with the tent city outside, <clears throat> goods and services are getting more and more scarce. You come back next week, what you've got is gonna be double. You mean- If you come back at all. What, 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 well, what do you mean by that? What I got is going to be doubled, but I, what I, what I'm 16 charged, gold. What, what, what I'm charged is going to be doubled, not- Correct. Not, not, not my portion. Correct. Okay. No, that's very understandable. Uh, but but no, I'm, I'm I'm honestly curious. How are you personally doing? How are you handling all of this? Did you come in with somebody? No. You look a little bit young to have so much free gold. Is there a reason for that? My parents had a trust fund. Ah, <laughs> hmm. uh, perception. Uh, 16. Even. Uh, the guy to the next table over onto the right stops eating. Okay. Is, is she elaborating any further? She's not sure how to take you because you've got the silk dress on, right? You've got gold, mm -hmm. but you're clearly young, right? And I'm talking as a as a world weary individual, and that would mm. cause her some puzzlement. Un un understandable, and again, I try and dissuade her, dissuade her, uh, <clears throat> her uncomfortableness. I lay her fears. I, I with 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 the promise of more gold. But 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 it's like no no I I I've had to travel this world without the with unfortunately without my parents as they were taken far too young. Uh, and I the guy to your left stops eating. Oh God! So both sides. Okay. And all, all Back I over to Manise, Taryn and Dewey, <laughs> in the trees, off the beaten path. What would you like to do? It's about four o'clock. You're getting a little tummy growl going, and uh, everybody roll Constitution checks to see oh. how you enjoy the smell of the food coming from Tent City. Oh, I'm just gonna have rations. Oh, I bet it's I, no, I no, 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 no. But it's like being in an apartment building where there's Indian food and Mexican food all cooking at the same time. I don't. I rolled a four. It. I don't enjoy it at all. I've got five. So Dewey's the only one that's. Hmm, that smells kind of not bad. So, I'll go get the food if you guys no. want to wait here. No. We're not going to split up. 
do you have? Oh shit! Have... We need to make it make it five. Make it five. No, we are not splitting up. And... No, we're not. We're not splitting up. I'm just gonna grab some food so we have something to eat. Do, do I'm clear. Go... I'm hungry, and it makes me angry. Have some food angry. That, was... that, it smells like Snickers is brewing out there. <laughs> he, looks, he looks like Betty White right now. <laughs> I literally hand in my bag of rations. If I have to, I'll go with them. Here, eat this. I want to talk to you two freaking. I want to talk to you two like heads, anyways. Uh, do we give me a constitution check on how you like Taryn's shitty elven I'm, crap? I'm picturing the scene from Adam's Family it's where normal, it's, it's, it's normal Christine, Christina Ricci and Pugsley going, eat me. <laughs> It's just normal rations, anyways. It's not. And good. I ruined the. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Uh, Manise, you want to add in on this? Is Taryn and Dewey are arguing about this situation? Hi, what are you doing? I'm just sitting up in my tree, minding my own business. Oh, we gotta... Give me a perception check, Manise. Seriously, we're not even going to get a chance to do any to talk. We're just going to. Yeah, have... you guys. No, you uh, guys talk. That'll be a twenty-one. Uh, you see an individual headed this way. It is a female. It looks like a hippie. I want to ignore it. Well, I I don't, you, don't, you don't see it, Taryn, because he's up in the tree. Hey, guys, somebody's coming. Female. I'll take a look over. Uh, it's a hippie chick. Whatever. Maybe she's got food. You know what? I, I was know, apologize. Food. I was distracted by a poopy diaper. A hippie chick is coming walking up. Yes. I say hello. Do you have actual food? <laughs> she has granola and berries. Hold on. That's yeah. fucking fantastic. And maybe a little LSD. <laughs> no special brownies. Uh, she has some herbage. I Ooh. thought you were going to say What herbs. kind of herbs do you have, good woman? Uh, these you got are a herbs fire right will, here. Toss it in. That will uh, commune your uh, damaged soul. I'll take some of that. How much? I'll take some of that. Well, if you'll let me share your campsite, no. I'll be happy. <laughs> hey, no. Hey, hey. What's your name, now? by the way? I'm Here's Dewey. This now. is my knees. <laughs> That's Taryn. What's your name, lady? <laughs> Charlie's Manson. Agnes. It, it, it's Prince yeah. Charles. Charles Char Char Maison. Her name is Agnes. Oh, oh she... no, no, no. Lynette, Lynette Frome. Lynette Frome. Squeak. <laughs> the squeak. Uh, Agnes the Druid uh, hands you uh, granola and berries. I good that. Constitution check. Okay, press the digitation. Saver check. Check. That is a 17. Yeah, it's good. Uh, Taryn, what did you want to do? I cast press the digitation on it, and I'm like, and I look at her, I'm like, no, I don't want you here. I want to talk to them alone. She you puts know, a reassuring hand on your shoulder. Taryn, why are you being so rude? Don't you fucking touch me. He has weed to heal the damaged soul. Look at Dewey. His soul is so damaged right now. Come on. Dewey yeah. needs all the help. I, I, so I'm damaged. going to let you three verbalize and sort this shit out. So you guys handle it. Agnes, she can hang I, you know what? You know what, Agnes? You can come and hang out in the tree with me. Whatever. Hey, you know, sometimes you need care. a care. third neutral care. party. Well, you know what? That means we're not leaving. We're not leaving? No. We're not going to. We're not going in there. She's here. We can't. We can't. I'm gonna whisper to him without her earshot. Sure. We can't freaking sneak off to go in the city if someone's freaking here. Maybe she can. That's a good point. Can we I try her as a distraction? For your soul healing uh, uh, thing. Also, do you know who Sonari is? I do. What the fuck can do with Sonari? Nope. Okay. Nope. Is he your deity? No. I, 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 I'm not familiar with him. My goddess is an awesome goddess. Mine is nature. 
I love everybody. She again reaches out to put her hand on Terry because <laughs> she's one of those touchy feely people. I will literally, I'm going to cast. You're so gross. Leave me alone, ambitious mockery. Make a wisdom we'll save 15. 17? 15? Yeah. Did you roll 15? No, I rolled a 12, so 13. All right. So I don't really like doing the damage, but that's part of the spell. But basically, I'm just back away. I, after this friggin' I travel with somebody with the plague, I do not want any of it. So it's only two points of damage. So I'm not really, I'm not really into hurting people that are innocent. But She goes away I crying. Him, I told her to back away and not touch me before. But the herb it... hey, Hang on, hang on. At our level, it should be two times that, right? Oh, oh whatever. I don't care. She, she's not eighth level yet. Uh, no, Dewey no, no, and Manise, she do. has not given you the herbage, and she's going it uh, off the, the road, level. not towards Tent City. Hey, 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 Agnes, herbage. We it want doubles some. at fifth level. I thought they already bought it. She's... All right, Manise, you go after the herbage. I'll go get some real food from Tent City. <laughs> Taryn, yeah. wait here for the book. You yeah. know what, folks? If you're just Gary's tuning in, this me. is the end of the fucking campaign. <laughs> I am just going to cult a sensual of these fuckers till they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you chase after her for her herbage? No. No. Uh, do you go after food? I, have I do food not. and nuts and berries. Okay, nuts Taren. and berries. I'm good. I'm a bird. Yeah. Taryn, uh, your two associates have seen the light. They are now listening to you. What would you like to say? Jesus, man. You know, can't have people coming here if we're going to sneak into the city. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Frank. <laughs> Fuck off, Jim. It's Fuck all off, love, man. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously, guys. So, no. I need good night. Night. Oh, good night, Arlo. Sorry, I'm going to break character just for this. Okay, get out of Mini. <laughs> Go, Mini Me. So adorable. I love him so much. You can't have him unless you have $5,000. Then I can make a new one because he is a <laughs> All right. I have a couple things I want to say to you two anyways. And I didn't necessarily want other people listening in. Although one of them that's probably fine. One of the things I want to find out is, Manise, what happened to you in Fulton? I really kind of need to know. Frank, is that where I met that the, the, the woman bird? Yeah. Nothing and of importance. You met Ketchup. I tried to assassinate. That is. Horror. Horror. I like no, it didn't. I hold on. I'd have to pull up the. Email. Her name was and, Ketchup. I will say no. About, Basically, I mean, I remember I was here for the, the actual when you played through that. But you are, but basically, you came up and you told us, you told us that the city was no longer good for non human. And last, uh, like earlier today, when we left things, you mentioned, uh, what was it, Admiral or General Iro? Was in charge. Yes, the, I vaguely remember General Iro. So, what? yes, yes, yes. Two uh, weeks is not good for my Captain, fucking short term. <laughs> Captain, so, Captain, it was Captain Io because it's from the Disney uh, Michael Jackson film. Actually, that's and not Iro like Avatar: The Last Airbender. Yeah, see, I always thought it's it General good. Io. <laughs> but it yeah, is General is Io wrong. had Ketchup Keat arrested, a Wood Elf arrested, and a uh, dwarf. Accidentally killed during the arrest you process. Mean gnome or dwarf? Who, who's to say accidentally? Dwarf. It was a dwarf, not a gnome. Oh. Who's to say so, accidentally? Basically, basically, Manise, this is what I'm asking you because I'm trying to put some stuff together. And in case you guys haven't, I haven't really been hiding it. She is very nervous by all those Fulton flags out in the harbor. That's why I've been failing all those checks. Well, I mean, it's not safe for birds because she's a bird. She caught the disease and, and died. Yeah, but I, oh, so. what I can't remember is, do we have a kid or not? I can't remember that one. No, oh. your child died. But oh that yes, was with the, the hobgoblin died. chick, not the bird chick. Oh, stillbirth. Stillbirth is dark, Frank. That's really fucking dark. Wasn't no. stillborn. It was the disease. It was the disease. The plague got him. 
It's so sad, actually. It was um, a beautiful yeah, story. I, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to go. That's dark. So, yeah. So wait, wait. I need to get this straight. Marie, what exactly do you, how do you answer me? Because I've For kind the of, general IO thing? Yeah. I mean, do you tell well, as far or? as as far as my backstory goes, I don't really know who I no. is any more than anyone, right? No, I'm correct. Right. So what happened to you in Fulton? Oh, I was with Ketchup, yeah. and we. As best you can. She, you, you, we, we heard we a can, shot go off, short. or whatever. Somebody shot at him. It wasn't us, but we, we didn't short, really oh, see who it into, was. Into, into, I give her all of the information from that session. Yeah, you or I mean, or that, yeah, yeah. But well, I didn't do anything. Ketchup didn't do anything. We just no, got no, we were in I that don't area. no, I I totally believe you because they set people up there. Oh yeah, there was definitely a setup, but I, I don't remember more than any details. Well, let's there. put it this way: I was set up there too. That's why I'm on the road. That's you've been, been set up plenty. You've been set up plenty of places, though, Carol. What's that? You've been set up plenty of places, though, Carol. Well, yeah, that's all your fault. Hey, You're kind of the, the party scapegoat, Carol. That, that does beg another question I have for you two. It is, I know. Last do, question, because we're I'm moving. So go ahead. All right. So, um, the question is: Did you guys blame me for anything else? All that, of it. No, Every no, single piece. Yeah, sure. I didn't blame you for anything. <laughs> I didn't blame you for anything. Carol, you kind of just like talk Hang about. On, you're not. You're not there. You're not there, Lucas. You're not there. <laughs> no, you're not there. Lucas. I just want to make sure that I don't have any other surprises. That's all. I'm not. I don't. I'm not angry at all of you. You're <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm an easy target because I wasn't there. Uh, Dewey and Manise, uh, three hit points. Uh, the good berries were kind of good. Woo, thank you. Uh, Is Lucas. there a short rest in there anywhere by chance? No, she's been talking to you the whole time. <laughs> Lu Lucas, uh, I can understand why that's not a rest. <laughs> Lucas, there's a knock on the door. Housekeeping. Has it, has it been four hours? Uh, no, it's only been two. Uh, I ignore it. I, I stay in my meditative state. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it doesn't sound like me. Are you able to, no, are you able to, in your meditative state, see? Yeah, I still perceive my surroundings. A halfling female walks in with a towel over her arm and says, oh, I'm sorry, I will come back later. No, no, it's easy. Oh, me sigh. Me, me, no, me no, oh, yes, so sigh. Me, she, me, she's me, got plenty of Windex, so. Me, uh, me, so me, Lucas, me. she shuts the door and uh, <coughs> walks away. Oh. Uh, Perpetua, you've garnered quite a bit of attention with your uh, noticing parlay on, with the bartender. Uh, follow me on this. Noticing that the gentleman to my left has stopped his mastication, I hop down off of my bar stool about two feet, approach him, hop on to the adjacent bar stool about two feet up, and say if he's looking for me to call him daddy. What? <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. <laughs> I think, oh. Well, that's awkward. Uh, I saw a head nodding there. Perpetua, you notice that the man on the right has now sat next to you, oh. and you are sandwiched between them. Uh, and again, the man on the left is just... He, so he hasn't responded to me, even though I'm directly not talking Not a to word. Oh, well, He's fuck that, then. Just looking at you. Where's the bartender? She's off uh, busy with everybody else. Okay, how many other patrons are there? Seven. Okay. So he's, he, he's, he, well, I was just going to see if you wanted to fill my young teen pussy. Fine, if you're going to be that way, deuces, and I dip out. Dip out how? Because the guy next to you is going to put his hand on your shoulder. 
Well, I'm going to jump down because I have to. As you jump down, he catches you, draws you close, hey, yeah, not what, firmly. What, 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 what was your role to catch me? 18. 20. Uh, my role is 18. The Plus. personal bodyguard of the alderman has four. Okay. So 22. Do not talk to the alderman. I'll, I'll, no, no, way. no, no. I'll shield that. Uh, are you going to try and evade? Yeah, if he's if he's trying to assault me, I will shield that, and that brings. He's not trying to team. assault you; he's trying no, to he's grab not. you and tell you not he's to trying, treat the he's, alderman. He's trying to touch my person, which I'm going to perceive as an assault, so I'm going to shield that. That brings my AC to twenty-five. Fair enough. Are you headed to the door? Yes. Two patrons block the way. How? What kind of patrons? Burly individuals. Elaborate. Ladies, men. Two men. Drunken. Drunken. Okay. No, they're sober. Okay. You need to go back and apologize to the alderman. For what? Your rude behavior. I I haven't been rude at all. I was just asking the gentleman if he wanted to date. Apologize to the alderman. I, I will turn my head only slightly. Is what what is is there someone waiting for me? The alderman, his primary bodyguard, and the two bodyguards at the door. Yeah, I know, but when I turn my head, is he looking towards me expectantly? Mm -hmm. Still motionless. Okay, then no, no, I will, I will, I will approach. And. Uh, Apparently, your men think that I've offended you in some way. Uh, if you ha if I have, please explain to me how so that I might apologize for it. Perception check. Because, ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing that's worthless, it's an apology without understanding. Uh, that is a 22. The bartender is... M.I.A. <laughs> okay. Okay. Your behavior, young lady, was uncouth and not well received. I would ask, as you should know, being a citizen, you should treat everyone with fair respect. Wait, so the alderman's a prude? Like, I don't... No, 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 he, he's, it's a corrupt politician. Oh. And as and my lord Alderman. I, you, whatever the fuck. What I will call him. I'm still saying my lord. And my lord, I do humbly beg your forgiveness for my for my most sincere apologies. I was just trying to see if thou 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 wouldst accompany me for the evening. Time to get laid. <laughs> Thank you. No. You may leave. Thank you. The goons step back. One of them holds the door open for you. I have, I, I've eaten, I'm assuming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you ate. It was good. Okay. Uh, give that. me an insight check. Uh, 22. The chief guard who was going to put your hands on you bristles with anger, but doesn't say anything. What was... So, okay. Do I, you I, exit? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, the door is shut paying, after you. Paying extra close attention to my personage as I pass the guards. They aren't going to molest you. Are you sure? Because I was, I was trying to get the alderman to call me daddy. <laughs> yeah, and you about got your ass handed to you for it. <laughs> so, yeah, no, they, they step back. The one holds the door open for you. All right. Then, yes, back to the hotel. I need a long rest. I need to level up. Perception check. Okay. Oh. Uh, 22. Two individuals pass by you, 
and from, walk directly okay. into the bar. From the direction I'm coming? Mm -hmm. OK, again. No, no, from where you're headed. They pass by you. That, that, that's what I mean, from where I'm headed. From where I'm, from, yeah, my, I, I phrased that wrong. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to use the word coming. So yeah, they uh, they walk but, into but, the bar. But again, but again, as they do so, I would like to, you know, noticing their approach, I would like to maintain awareness of my person. They don't give a shit about you at okay. all. Okay. And then you head back to the hotel. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll, I'll, give, I'll give a quick glance to my six to see if the bodyguards are following me. Nope. Nobody's following you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Lucas, the door opens again. But this time without a knock. Perpetua? Okay. It's perpetual. How long has it been now? Two hours. Two additional hours? Or no. two hours from Still the two hours. The I'm, housekeeper I'm, walked in right before she did. I'm, I'm right behind Lupita. So, oh. so you, you're going to take two more hours of short rest, right? Well, no. For him, for him a long for rest him. is four hours. Right. Yeah, four hours so, is a long rest for me. And then Perpetua, you're taking eight. I, I still need a long rest, yeah. Fair enough. You guys, uh, you'll wake up in the I'm, morning, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, unless I'm, Lucas wants to wander upon, out. Upon my approach, seeing that the housekeeper has just left, I'm going to hang the do not disturb sign on, on the exterior saying, you know, hey, honeymoon sweet motherfuckers, we're busy. Fair I'm going to hang my sock. That's awesome. Good, we're in college. Uh, Manis, Dewey, and Taryn. Uh, Dewey uh -huh. and Manise have eaten good berries. Taryn, most of your uh, rations have been soiled by Dewey's vomit. Uh, you have gotten the backstory from Manise and you know shed some light on your own. Rest of digitation on my food should clear it up so I can eat it. Can it clear it up? I think so. Clean. It's clean. Are you going to eat it after that? <laughs> <laughs> It. it doesn't you drop a burger in dog shit. You pick it back up. You wipe it off. It's clean, right? Oh, I've second dog. rule. <laughs> no, that's if that's you're eating dog, dog shit though, and you cast the digitation on the dog shit, it's still dog shit. Yeah, but that's dog shit. Oh, you're saying it won't get rid of the puke? Okay, that's fair. I I, I, I don't know. I would. I just know that I don't give a shit about magic or not. Uh, if you puked on it, I don't trust my magic that much. Now okay. you may you you can eat it. I don't mind. I, I, I'm just saying I'm not gonna eat shit that got puked on. <laughs> Sorry about the phone, guys. I thought that was unplugged. All right. Uh, you know, it's no secret that there's a lot of tension in this group. Yeah, they wanted to get high, and you fucking shit I know, you. but that's... We that's just wanted to get inside, and you were like, no. Well, I want to rest... No, 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 hang on. You just said get inside of her. Really? Wrong <laughs> character. That's the other character. Rainy is the one that'll do anything. Yeah, Rainy is um, the one that'll do anything. Won't try anything. Twice. twice. So you guys no. have consumed a meal, kind of, uh, well, and it's right around six o'clock. What I was thinking is I wanted to see if maybe the two of them might want to hash their differences. <laughs> so, because... Just want to get high. What, what I, what I'm hearing if I had a chance to heal my soul that was wounded right now, with my knees, we could heal our souls together. All, all I'm hearing is that she has the some hash things. and she wants you guys to get together. I want you guys to at least get a hold. I don't want to lose Dewey again. I mean, what happened there? You know, Dewey was down and nobody healed him. I was trying to get to you. And he I know- him. Look, he's here. He's Sorry, survivor him. remorse. <laughs> I mean, what's going on? I'm trying to get a little bit of, I'm trying to find out a little bit about you two as well. I mean, it's about time. That's that's what tonight was supposed to be. You guys hashing it out. Except, except Carol, Carol, I'll remind you what it boils down to is there would have been what most of the characters perceived as sufficient time to get to him. Yeah. There just wasn't. No, I mean, and, and it's and I did. Falling off a cliff doesn't help either. No. Like, all right, I finally reached Stewie. No. Yeah, also, it didn't help you actually roll the net one and 
blue to pick two death saves in one round. That's that's what really did it. Um, but but anyways, yeah, this ain't but, the talk show, Taryn. Get back but, to the role play. Refocus, <laughs> refocus. <laughs> you got like I said. I mean, I'd hash it out. I mean, I don't know what's wrong, but I feel like you guys don't like each other. Well, you know, his we're, race we're, you're and asking the wrong ones to hash Martin. it out. I hate and everybody else. Go <laughs> up after him. Of this stuff between them two. He joined the gnomes who are trying to capture me and imprison me and help them out. Wait, what? Yeah, the ones you have to watch out for are Dewey and Perpetua and Perpetua and Lucas. Not Maniz. Maniz is fucking mellow as shit. No, I, I have nothing against Lucas. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 Rewatch re the show, bitch. <laughs> no, no, I, I, was, I was trying to guilt him into something, but I've always been on Lucas's side. Really? <laughs> Anastasia dimensioned your, you out of there. My natural 20 insight and say, bullshit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, because I was trying to blow shit up his ass, but her, but but Anastasia dimensioned him out of the out of the fucking bar fight. I also think there is a perception it oh. from, that Dewey somehow thinks that Meniz was on the side of what was it, the enemy gnomes? Well, the remember because yes, he was in the prison. Escaped. And somehow he saw like Maniz with the with the gnomes that like tried to fuck him up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the in the the tunneling gnomes. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the, so, the, the, from from Lady Torgal's manor. So, so the, one, the one who the one that I basically impersonated when he tried to kill me. And that's why I'm bringing it up because I get the distinct feeling. I mean, I also figure maybe it's easy to do it with just two people and then maybe do it later with the other people. And It's okay, to... Dewey. You're in a safe space. I'm this never going to mention. Tell me about your sore spots. Where, 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 where did Lady Torgal touch you? Show me on the doll. <laughs> Lady Torgal didn't touch me at all, and that was the problem. So, so Taryn, I think you're going to have to be very specific in your questions. The problem is I got to be I got to be careful because it's player knowledge versus uh, exactly. the way I've been is that she senses there's a lot of, there is a lot of there's a lot of tension in the screen. There's a lot of pent up hostility here. There's hostility. Well, one of you just flies into a rage all the freaking time. Hold, hold it a second. I have Agnes's leaving this group. When did you turn hippie? <laughs> Come on, man. Let's hug this out. Well, well, it's just that it feel well when we lost Dewey. It's like I feel like something. I don't know if she doesn't. Joy know. overtook everybody. Yes, I would agree. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm just you know what the second what the second round of the fifth dimension song Age of Aquarius is, don't you? It's joy to the world. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out there in case you two want to share with me. You share tell, with me, Dewey. <laughs> if there's anything you want to tell me that I, because or catch me up because I you know I joined so late. I don't. There's a lot of things I don't know. Like there's been misunderstandings. I think but as well, his race tried to kill my race and a bunch of other races. So you oh, know, and his, his race and is then doing you a great left job. Me for dead. <laughs> no, no lives matter. No lives matter. But but Manise, to be fair, that's his race. But that doesn't mean he's trying. If he tried to kill you, he probably could quite easily. He tried to but kill me. If he's trying to kill me, he could do it quite easily, and I could and, kill you both quite easily right now. Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. You can not, try. Not yet. Not, not yet. Tomorrow. No, you Tomorrow you could. <laughs> I think it's oh, no, I could probably do it right now. The town square. Oh, do it now. I mean, I'm at, I'm at so little health right now that, no, he could do it. And Manise is made of origami, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Taryn? Fuck you. He's going to use Manise and kill you with Manise's body. He's going to beat the <laughs> shit out of you. <laughs> Hey, if there's one thing I learned, it's origami is an effective weapon. You're, you're watching too many Red 2 movies. Uh, <laughs> Dewey, kill them all so we can start a new campaign. <laughs> that was Heidi. That was Heidi. That was Heidi. I was trying to play along. 
I'm just gonna say I like you two a lot, and I just shut want to get everybody. <laughs> oh, I want everybody to shut up, Frank. I just want everybody to get along and work well together. Can't we all just? Oh my, <laughs> oh, my lord! <laughs> <Kumbaya. Then> get, <laughs> it's gonna get more difficult. There's there's Earth and Mars. Hey, Blake, and, you're not here. Can't we all just? Get along. Blake. So, Taryn, have you gotten the answer that you were looking for? Because I'm yeah. guessing no. <laughs> That's because you guys keep interrupting. So I, I don't think he's gonna tell tell you shit. <laughs> they did start telling me shit. So yeah, he just mentioned that my race killed off his people, which I don't know anything about. I grew up in a library, and which Dewey too. will mention, and Dewey will also say that Manise left me for dead. As two gnomes tried I, to kidnap and kill us. I didn't know. Not that. kill us, kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe, well, maybe if you didn't attack me all the time. Well, he was getting the mom tattoo. Correct. Now, when did Maniz get his feathers cut off? Because he attacked Dewey. First, first, firstly, at Lady Purple's Manor. Yeah, but yes. Blake, you're not here. Can we have the conversation between the two people that please, I've asked? Please go on, go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, all right. So, I think there's obviously some. And now I'm angry, Taryn, because I want to get in the city and you are delaying it. I need to see Knackle. Who is Knackle? If I slap you in the face, Dewey, will that help anger you more so that you can go see Knackle in the city? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Who's Knackle? Does it really matter? Let's just slap him in the face and see what happens. So I would like to know who the hell Knackle is and nah, why I would knows. kill him. And I think you two, there's a lot of misconceptions on you two's part. Just oh, I, I, I mean, I don't hate Dewey. I mean, the, the what happened, the what happened was an accident. Frank, Frank, you're not here. You can't hear. It you. was an accident. It was time. not an accident. <laughs> the first I, time. I, I, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. I'm saying. <laughs> really, I was gonna say it was a little the, accident. It was a misunderstanding. I didn't mean to. He was not involved, and I don't think you were actively working with said gnomes. No, no, I don't know them. <laughs> All right then. Then why did you help them? I didn't know what was going on. That's fair. I, well, I wouldn't know what's going on. Inside when do I know Jack. what's going on? <laughs> I believe him entirely. <laughs> yes. So let me ask who is Knackle? I want to help you deal with them, but who is he? What is he? And if he's in the crypts, he is likely undead. So what is he? Don't say that about Knackle. Knackle's not dead. Okay. Okay. Then what is then who is he? He's dead Knackle. as shit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> he's no, he's like, not, I'm Frank. Not. She technically said undead. Dewey, the player <laughs> character, is bringing his ass back to life through sheer belief, baby. So who's Knackle? Knackle was the head librarian at the Grand Library of Andorra. Well, one of the lamp librarians. So, he raised me. Oh, oh. So he's like your father. Well, him and, and Samal, yeah. yeah. So... All right, so what? So you just want to you just want to try to find him and see him. Or on he went turn. missing. Uh, he went missing, eleven years ago. Eleven years ago, Frank. Ten Gosh. years at the academy. Frank, how, how do you know that? Eleven and nine that? months. Eleven you're, you're, and nine months. Or ten, ten, ten and nine months. Do we? I wish this is why I wanted to know. Okay, now I understand why you want to get there in such a hurry. No, no, but how how do you know that name? The Bard. Yeah. The bard told us. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I now get why you want to get in the city so fast. I don't. And you, and you don't. You don't want to wait till this evening when we have a better shot. I mean, is it this evening, Frank? Or are we? You're this... almost We're there. Getting close. We're getting close to darkness. We don't yeah, have. To... As you guys discuss this, it'll be about eight p.m., and I'm going to switch over to Lucas. And then basically all I want to do is just after that is, is all right, we'll get we'll get a rest in, a short rest so that he can heal up and we'll get in the city. But I think we need to find our companions. And truth be told, I don't want to assault the catacombs 
which if he is in there, are probably crawling with all sorts of things that we're going to need. Why don't we sleep the night? You have the cleric and get a good hmm. start in the morning. Why I, do you think he's he's not dead? He's he's I, working in the catacombs, gathering information, Dewey, Dewey. doing well, something for the library. I'm sure of it. Dewey, that's what we Dewey. hope, Dewey. That's what we hope. I'm not, I'm not talking about him. I'm talking what, about. What I are you talking about? Hope. hope. I'm thinking about there might be other things. Well, because because the guy said he would be dead. Peace we need. What's guy oh, in the peace? Didn't say he would be a tough fight. He did, didn't he, Frank? He said if he's in the catacombs. Just said he was in the. Yeah, yeah, but that was. That was, that was insight. That was an insight to me. But huh. I'm not going to crush Dewey's hope. That's not how I fly. Oh, that's how I fly. He's fucking <laughs> dead. <laughs> what? Lucas, you've had your short <laughs> rest slash long rest. Uh, is there anything you want to do while Perpetua snores soundly in bed next to you? I, uh, I like to break into the city at night because I think it's going to still be. Taryn, 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 Taryn. You had your turn. <laughs> What? Lucas, what are we doing? Yeah, so I guess I want to explore the richer parts of town. I don't want to get mugged. Uh, so I'm going to be very careful. I, I, I will have deliberately stashed the key in an obvious place. Fair. The nightstand. Okay. Uh, okay, so you're going to wander off? Uh, well, it, what, is Perpetual awake? No, she's Perpetua, taking she's taking the long rest, so she will, can get eighth level. I will note for Perpetua saying, "I'm going to explore the city. I'll I'll be back uh, before sunrise." I want a divorce, whore. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Assuming that was at least where the key was. I mean, I'll, I'll find the key. I'll search for it. No, 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 no. Like I said, I left it in obvious. an obvious place. Oh, cool. So you want to go into the richer section of town? Well, I, I'm going to try and find some temples or churches or something, because I would think the catacomb entrances would be near there. And I kind of want to explore where we're going to go eventually when the party's back together. That's fair. Uh, as you walk downstairs to go out, uh, the innkeeper goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, can I help you? Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I'm very forgetful. What, what time is it? Is it? It's curfew time. Oh, oh, I, I apologize. I, I lost track of time. Uh, curfew ends at sunrise, correct? Correct. Okay. Um, See, you got it all by yourself. Yeah, so uh, out of character, I ask, in the, in the room, was there a window or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going back up to the room then. Uh, I'm going to explore out through the window. Uh, okay. As you go out, uh, as you look out the window, uh, you don't even have to roll. You're going to see uh, roving gangs of guards patrolling the city and rousting up people who are breaking curfew. Uh, from your vantage point, you can see that those breaking curfew are treated like they're in Buffalo, New York. Cool. Let's, um, let's, let's so just say host with, with hostility. <laughs> I'm going to open the window. Or uh, three things, I guess. I'm going to open the window. I'm going to cast invisibility on myself. Okay. Which nice. is concentration spell that lasts one hour. Then I'm going to turn into a bird and scout yeah. overhead the, the city. That's and right, because you had, you, you had your back, rest. Yes. So now I'm going to return back into the room. So hopefully for next week, I have a map of Yavin. Nice. How long can you be a bird? Uh, well, I'm level eight, four hours, and my invisibility lasts one hour, so I'm going to fly around for at least an hour. I'll give you a map. I'll, I'll yeah. give you a partial map. One of the things that you will notice is a trebuchet flinging corpses over the wall. Oh, oh no. no. Or towards the harbor, or away? Towards, <laughs> towards the uh, northern side. Uh, Oh shit, we're not on the northern side. In, in an hour, no, you guys are in the south, uh, east or <laughs> southwest side. Uh, Lucas, there's something else, but if it's only going to be an hour, you will not notice what happens next. No. Well, I'm a bird, so I guess I won't be too obtrusive if I... He'll just be invisible for an hour. He'll, he'll remain circling for the four hours. If he wants, I don't care. That's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll keep exploring... Uh, for... Then I will give you the full map. 
Yep. Yeah, cool. I'll do that. But then I'll make sure I return to the room um, before I, I reverse form. And then uh, you notice after trebucheting the corpses over the wall, uh, the men on the parapets, which there are a significant amount of them, uh, fire flaming arrows into the pit and burn the dead. Except it gives a I nice would, would, would cherry say, glow. It, I would say in a town with a food shortage, though, wouldn't a bird be a desirable target? Not, not, not. I assume he's not a giant bird. No, I'm just a regular bird. Uh, a raven, I think, is what I have from the monster manual. Oh, ra raven is fairly sizable. There's a meal in a raven. But luckily, it's dark out, so I'm hoping they don't see me. Because you're black? I am a raven, It's yeah. racist. Fair enough. No. Uh, yes, you will notice that uh, the guards uh, heavily patrol the parapets, but after trebucheting the dead out, uh, they set fire to the rather massive section. Give me an insight check. Ooh, all right, what's my insight? And it's as you, right? Not as a raven. Right. Uh, uh, regardless of whether he's a raven or not, his his uh, mind mind stats remain his. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Seven. Cool. Um, after I do my scouting, I'm returning to the room and and resting again for a short rest to regain my well shaped form. But I wait. well, you you can do the full four hours. Well, yeah. well, no, no, he, he, he went out with a long rest. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. But I'm saying he's been out four hours. You're down for eight. So he right, can do right, another full the only, the only The only thing that he needs from that, expend, from that expedition is a short rest to regain everything. That right, he, yeah. I, I'm just saying if he wants four hours, he can have it. I just wanted to get a full picture of the city. Um, after I achieve that, I don't care if it's four hours or eight hours, I'm returning to the room. Gotcha. You know, Perpetua is still asleep. Uh, Dewey, Taryn, and Meniz, what are you going to do tonight? Are you going to okay. take the long rest, or are you going to try and find this uh, interloper to get you into the city? That's or, the big question. Or are we going to just try to fly in under the cover of darkness? Or trust that I'll come after you in the morning. No, you don't know where to <laughs> Yeah, you don't know where they're at. But how are you going to find us? I know. Um, where I don't you know where you left us, but we aren't there anymore. Now, as for whether or not Lucas might have spotted us from above, flying around that many hours. I know that, or the he, he, he was in the city. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. If he could have made a swoop around to look for us, and then that would make sense. And then you you could even, like, I don't know, wave on by. <laughs> I don't know if he was with you. The exits are to your front, to the sides, and to the rear. So, no, I said it was, so there's two thoughts. Either we try to go into the cover of darkness or we try to find this person in the middle of a camp full of diseased people, which I am not really liking. Hey, hey, hey actually, Perpetua, do you have a message? I, I do, but I'm asleep. Oh. That's, well, you can message us in the morning, too. Yeah, okay, oh, cool. Okay. Sorry. Uh, 30 feet. 30, is it 30 feet or 60 feet? Too far. E it. Either way, it's going to be too far. Oh, you, so, yeah. uh, what do you guys want to do tonight? Do you want to take the rest, or do you oh, want no, to venture it, in it, a tent it, city? It, 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 it is 120 feet. Still yeah. way off. Do we or and, rest and break in? Yeah. What do you want? What do you guys want to do? I I'm open to whatever you two would I'm, like. I'm personally, I think we should rest for the night and wait till morning. Okay. I don't. I don't think it's worth trying to get in, uh, with with everything that's going on. Bastard. I and, know. And uh, poss possibly going into a place that could possibly be infected as well. That's really fair. Do we? Are you? I understand. I really do understand. Um, is that okay with you? I mean, you could definitely regain some strength. And I could definitely regain some strength and a bunch of mice and all my spells, which I said literally have nothing right now. I can't heal you. I can't help heal you. So I suppose Knackle wouldn't be at the cribs at night. He'd sure probably be sleeping at night. <laughs> Taking a fucking dirt nap is what he's doing. <laughs> that bitch is dead. <laughs> 
was such a dick for it. It's okay. I get it. I'm so sorry. Um, I I know. I said I told you. What are you sorry it. for? I found him. He's here in the city. Yeah, but he can't. We're not going right now. I'm sorry. You have to wait until tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. So I have a lot of anxiety about my parents right now too. After knowing what I now know about that city. Hey, what did the wood elf look like? You you, you weren't there. <laughs> no, I'm asking Manise what the wood elf looked like. He barely remembers it was General Io. Good luck with that. <laughs> well, all the elves look the same. I, I, yeah, no yeah, yeah, they all look the same. Yeah. That's hey, 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 elf lives matter. 40 that's years not- doing the Spock thing, have no idea what the hell he looks oh, like. Wait, wait, wait. Think- you know what he looks like? He looks like this. Hey, let me go. <laughs> no, 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 no. I say Chris may not remember, but I wasn't sure if Manise would because there's a lot less time that's wait, left. Manise, Chris has remembered so little that we're just saying that's what Manise remembers. Manise I mean, would not there- remember because the shot came out of the crowd. He was immediately descended upon. He looked down because Ketchup Keat and the dwarf were also uh, being investigated because another shot came out there. So his focus, I would say, would be on yeah. his friend. Okay, but, that's that. I, yeah. but I did, add, but I did want to ask if that, you know, because you said what else? So he did like, guilty too. Did do I am I, or am I remembering that incorrectly, or was that described? What did you say? She looked guilty. Who did? Ketchup no, didn't the protest to. The shot came from the general vicinity. Right. They were. She didn't protest. They just said. I they just, descended on her. She didn't have a choice. And yeah. during the scuffle, the dwarf got knocked over onto the statue and died. I, I, I know, but I don't remember her saying much in the way of, "Oh no, let me up. I'm innocent. I'm dying. I'm dying." He was at the far end of the building. He didn't hear shit. Okay. No, I mean, and that's and that's all fair. I just said, he, but he described it when he said there was a wood elf that got busted. I, I wasn't sure if there was a description. Um, he meant a wood elf busted. Okay. Uh, end of day one, and I wrote it down, so it's probably kind of important. <laughs> uh, made an enemy of the alderman. Yes, you did. Uh, let's go with final thoughts. Uh, Ernest. I'm surprised I didn't like start shit. I didn't make an enemy of everyone. I did really well today, guys. I'm nothing, proud of myself. Nothing got lit on fire? Yeah, nothing got started on fire. And I was actually productive towards the campaign by scouting. You did. That's, that's true. You, you're going to have a map. Uh, Blake, final thoughts. Should he decide to engage in pedophilia, like most, I, I'm assuming Alderman means that he's a member of the <laughs> He is a member of the municipal government. Oh, oh, yeah. oh you, mean, you mean the comptroller. <coughs> oh, shit. If it was the comptroller, I would have just offered to pay him off straight out of the gate. You don't know how close you came to having your teeth rearranged. <laughs> and that's clear. <laughs> uh, Dewey, final thoughts. Uh, fun session. Nice to get a little background going out there. That was, I wrote that 17 was the pages of it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the request, so I tried to honor it as best I could. Appreciate it. Uh, I wish I uh, would. Real quick, is it the Shrine of Icus or the Shrine of what? Shrine of Icus. Shrine of Icus. Make sure I-C-K-U-S. I I-C-K-U-S. I spelled it exactly right. Awesome. And that is definitely where I will find Alvin Knackle alive and well taking notes <laughs> for the library. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's dead. <laughs> uh, Carol, Not final dead. thoughts. <laughs> oh, yeah. No. And, and do, please don't mention the dead fucking gnome anymore because he's he's really on the edge <laughs> well, i'll be a god i'll be goddamned if i'm not ursulina for the rest of the campaign <laughs> i mean i got a little bit of my goals i wanted to try i want to pull this car party together and actually when i thought how'd about that work it, for you <laughs> maybe if people weren't interrupting us because he actually they did have a conversation and they cashed it out so 
it did work. Um, you know, my thought was, okay, well, we split up again. I really wish we wouldn't do that, but that's fine. Uh, I'll roll with it. And I was thinking, you know, it just might be easier to do it with two people and get them to, you know, come together and then slowly bring everybody in so we don't have like this big, huge mosh pit of anger. Yeah, but you know what? I mean, and it, it said, I know it really didn't have anything to do with Dewey dying, but I think that was sort of a trigger point. Um, by the way, Lucas, I do agree. You were awesome. I thought that was fantastic for you to get out there and scout the city. Almost like you were a fucking hero, kind of ish. Hey, uh, Chris, final thoughts. Um, oh, it was good. Uh, maybe hash out some stuff with Dewey. We won't, we won't hate each other as much. We'll see where that goes. That's my um, and and level eight, folks. Level eight. Yes. You, 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 haven't, woken, you haven't woken up. I was yet. gonna say, yeah. We well, this is also true. I'm level eight. Oh, you guys. We went down to rest. Right. So we do get it in, right? You'll get the rest in. Okay. So okay. we'll. Level Will we get the rest in before we play next? Yes. Or a little bit? Okay. I'm going to upgrade my character sheet. That's I can't fine. downgrade it. That's fine. No, nope, I'm not going to remember any of it. Everybody will be level eight when we uh, meet back up in two weeks. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the campaign edition. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our cool stuff, uh, it's down there. If you want to join us on Discord, it's down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want a seat at the table, go ahead and hit us up either at Twitter or Gmail or in Discord. Uh, any one of those things, and we'll see what we can do and try and get you in there. Uh, we do have a talk show coming up Tuesday. The rest of the week hasn't been decided yet. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., I have to pee. So let's wave goodbye and get the hell out of here. Your Bye. nation yes, feels so great. I just figured your balls would be bleeding again. Golden shower.